Welcome to PandaDoc's Guide to Writing a Professional Business Quote. This video is broken up into multiple chapters, so if you'd like to skip ahead to a specific part, then go right on ahead. There are many different types of quotes, such as pricing quote, a service quote, or a sales quote, but ultimately, all these documents can be organized into eight steps, which include choosing a template, entering a quote number, adding customer information, adding product or service descriptions, adding your business and contact information, including issue and expiration dates, specifying the terms and conditions, and adding an e-signature option to your quote. Let's go ahead and build one together. Step one, let's start with choosing a template. When a customer requests a quote, time is of the essence, which is why we recommend using a professional quotation template. Go ahead and pick one that can help you and your team based on your industry or specific needs. You can find a link to PandaDoc's free template library in the description of the video. For this example, we'll stick with something simple like this one page service quote. All right, now let's get started filling it in. Step two, entering a quote number. So this step is optional, but it's definitely recommended for businesses that plan on sending a lot of quotes over time. The quote number is just a sequential set of digits or letters you assign to each quote you send to clients, similar to an invoice number. Quote numbers make it easy to keep track of and arrange quotes in your CRM or cloud drive. On this quote template, you can see the quote number just below the quote date. Our Panda tip here is to prominently display the quote number at the top of your estimate for easy reference, and you can even have a client's initials added to this number if desired. Step three, adding customer information. After you've got your template and quote number, it's time to add in all the pertinent customer information. This is pretty self-explanatory, but it's really important that you don't mess it up with any typos. Our template here only includes the client company field for you to input, but you can also add in their name, address, phone number, and email address for good measure. Our Panda tip here is to use a tool like PandaDoc combined with your CRM to automatically pull customer data into your quote to avoid misspelling your customer's information. Step four adding product or service descriptions. Now it's time to organize the products or services you're quoting. Again, this is pretty self-explanatory, but make sure to include descriptions of the items, their quantities, product numbers, unit prices, and total prices, if applicable. Our Panda tip here is to try to use pricing tables that are engaging for your customers. With PandaDoc's smart pricing tables, customers can alter quantities and select which options they want to keep and remove without you having to send them additional quotes. Pretty cool, right? Step five, adding your business and contact info. This part of your quote is another formality that shouldn't be too much of a surprise. But here's your reminder to include the following contact information in your quote, your business name and logo, address, phone number, and email address. Our Panda tip here is to add in your own name too, so the customer knows who their point of contact is at your business. You'll see that our template example starts off with the sender's first and last name here. Step six, including issue and expiration dates. Issue and expiration dates are super important and yet often overlook parts of a business quote. Our Panda tip here is to set the expiration date for 30 days after your quote date to ensure an accurate and profitable price. Step seven, specifying the terms and conditions. The terms and conditions is where you spell out both you and your customer's responsibilities. Without terms and conditions, a quote is incomplete. In our template example, the terms and conditions are just below the pricing table, and they read as such. For more complex agreements, there can be additional components to terms and condition agreements, such as the pricing schedule and payment method, privacy details, intellectual property rights, sharing of work, provisions for changes, cancellation clauses, fees for delay or termination, and how errors or omissions will get addressed. Our Panda tip here is that if you're looking for more comprehensive TNCs, considering hiring a lawyer or legal expert to ensure everything is included. Step eight, add an e-signature option. 
At the very end of your quote, you definitely want to have an electronic signature option so that your customer can agree to the quote and you can close the deal without delay. With a tool like PandaDoc, you can add a legally binding e-signature with SOC Type 2, e-sign, UETA, FERPA, and HIPAA compliance. In our example template, you can see we also added a date, name, and title block for the customer to fill out. Our Panda tip here is to also add any potential price reductions, discounts, or notes of gratitude at the end of your quote as well. Creating each of your business quotes from scratch is an outdated practice. Most modern businesses, small and large, are adopting faster ways to enhance operations and grab more deals with the help of various tools like PandaDoc to automate and speed up this process to close more business. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to PandaDoc's YouTube channel for more helpful business document videos.